Hi, I'm Maria Bakalova and I'm here with LUK to play the game Ask Me Anything on the day of the Oscars. They started actually really early and I was pretty calm. There was a moment when I was almost having a heartbreak because I freaked out. The day is here and it's the best day of my life ever. Everybody's running here and there, putting something on me, taking something up, and we're changing things in the last minute because we want a bit of an experiment. We all have the same vision of this beautiful princessy, white, new, clean beginning end of the chapter of this award season but it's been beautiful beautiful and crazy at the same time and i feel like a princess i've been given the same advice about the oscars from all of my friends from all of my team and from sasha and isla fisher i'm feeling super sad that i'm not gonna be able to be with both of them unfortunately but just enjoy it and that's the advice that i'm gonna give to every single person enjoy the ride don't think about the result because that's the beauty of life. We only own this moment right now. Future, we never know. I've been nervous about every single scene that we shot in the movie because our movie is a satire, but you don't have a second take and you're either gonna get it on the first one or you will never get it. I was scared about the scene um, with the conservative women's center because it was one of the first ones that I did and I was alone. Originally we had to be together and to be like a dialogue between us. But some of the women there recognized Sasha or I don't remember what was the situation. So we had to change it in the last minute. And from a dialogue with two lines of me, it became a monologue about empowering women to find themselves. For sure the scene with Rudy Giuliani has been nerve wracking because I was alone there. And I'm not American, so I'm not into the American political system. But Sasha was like six feet away from me, not because of COVID, because of the scene. And ready to jump and save me and save the scene and save the world, as he always do. So maybe these two. I'm grateful that all of the nominees of this year made it to create a project and stay safe. So that's why I don't want to be greedy and be like, oh, I wish it was a different year and we would be always together. But just the opportunity to interact with them be in the same zoom call in all of these boxes with inspiring people like my fellow nominees the great olivia coleman glenn close amanda seyfried and yuna and john has been unbelievable i've fallen in love with all of them even more not only as professionalists as they are but as great human beings that they've been so i was on set and i heard about me being nominated from the great Jed Apatow and I freaked out for a second because I was thinking that he's coming closer to me in the middle of a shot because I was doing something wrong because usually he's gonna give you a note over the mic but then he came in the middle of a take and I was like oh my god I'm so bad he's feeling uncomfortable to set up loud so he told me that I'm nominated and then when I checked my phone because we had a small break uh, there were like tons of messages from my amazing team <sighs> I don't even remember what I said. I remember that I either jumped or either fall on the floor because it was one of these mixtures of emotions that you cannot even memorize it. You just remember the feeling of it. But what you actually did as an action, I have no idea. We have it recorded actually. So I'm waiting for the moment when we're gonna be able to see it because I'm excited to see it. I, I almost had a heart attack. It is amazing. I probably said, oh my God, and start screaming or kept quiet after a second and then I was okay can, can, can we please keep working because we have to keep working this year has been my my first award season and I'm not really familiar how is it normally because my experience up until today has been always virtual so I'm excited to see what is going to happen today when it's going to be the first in-person event for sure it's been all of this beautiful gorgeous dresses gowns that i've been wearing and i'm really honored that i'm wearing louis vuitton because i've been obsessed with the design of louis vuitton and when nicolai said okay let's do it i was oh my god is it really happening and then when i found the love of my life mosaic jewelry i was this is this is a dream <laughs> the dance scene it's been extreme and crazy i don't know i think most of the scenes that my body has been engaged with some action it's been quite easier than compared to the parts when I've been sitting and just talking jokes 
but I, I, I enjoy it actually. And I would love to perform it someday again. <laughs> my favorite Bulgarian dish, probably a lot of Bulgarians, if they're watching that, are gonna think that I'm gonna say moussaka, which is something similar to lasagna. I know how to cook it, but it's not my favorite one. My favorite one is panica, which is like a pastry with cheese, and it's super delicious. And maybe that's one of the things that I miss the most from home because I hardly can find it here and usually you eat it around Christmas and New Year's and you you have a coin in the middle of it and it's the luckiest one who is gonna catch that piece with the coin thinking about the question what advice I can give Tuta in real life makes me realize that Tuta actually gave me a lot of advices that I have to be braver because in my real life I'm not that brave I'm brave when it's my duty as an actor to do something and I'm thinking that, okay, this is not me, this is a character, she can do it, probably I won't be able to do it. So Tuta, Tuta told me a lot of lessons, how to be brave and how to, no matter how much you trust somebody and love somebody, you should always trust yourself more and follow your inner voice. And I'm gonna give one small advice to Tuta start reading a lot of Russian literature, probably. Working with Sarshi Baron Korn has been inspiring from the very first day that I've met him up until the last, up until today, actually. And I believe that you meet people that you need to meet, uh, that are gonna change your life, and he is using his platform and his art to make a revolution and to change this world and make it a better one for all of us. That's probably one of the best things that I experienced being around him, working with him. Think about the bigger picture, think about the things that you're gonna leave on this earth, think about the examples that you can give to people because how you treat somebody is gonna reflect them how they're gonna treat somebody else. And we're here all together, we're all human, we're all equal. So be nice, work hard, um, be supportive, don't be judgmental. And I wanna be like him. He is an inspiration and an idol. He's my guardian angel and I wish every actor to have a guardian angel like Sasha Baron Cohen. Thank you so much for watching me play Ask Me Anything with L.U.K. Dream big, work hard and love. These are maybe the most important things in life. Thank you.